Kia ora, and here is a 2014 scholarship calculus question. So this is also one that Mr Clark did in the Thursday session today, if you're watching this when it's brand new. And because we've got no Friday class tomorrow, I thought I'd video it. So this looks quite difficult, but it's actually only about a six line question. What we have to do is to show that this value of y, or this function, so y is equal to e to the power of e to the power of cx, is a solution to the following differential equation. So if you remember from level three calculus, when we taught you how to verify that things were DEs, your teachers all probably said that really this is not about integration, it's about differentiation. So if you try to attack this question by attempting to integrate this thing twice, you're going to get into a huge, huge mess. But if instead you differentiate this twice, and then show that it fits this, it comes out quite nicely. So let's have a look at what to do first. Well, I don't like e to the power of e to the power of something. So to undo that, I can take logs of both sides. And that gives me the natural log of y is equal to e to the power of cx. So this is pretty easy to differentiate now, as long as I remember how to do implicit differentiation. Um, sorry about the background noise, but it is Thursday night. Right, so 1 over y dy by dx on that side. And on this side, the first derivative is c e to the power of cx. So we can rewrite that as dy by dx is equal to cy times e to the cx. Now, I could muck around with that more, but I'm not going to, because I know that I need to get the second derivative and then show that it fits the thing up above. Let's see if I can squeeze this onto one slide. Okay, so the second derivative is going to require more implicit, but this time using the product rule. So I'm going to break this up into two parts. Think of this times this. And if you want to write it out with u and v, that's fine, but you probably don't have to. So it's going to be the first bit, cy, times the derivative of the second bit with respect to x. So ce to the power of cx plus the other way around. So the derivative now of this bit, which is going to be c times dy by dx. So the derivative of the first bit times the second bit. So that's times e to the power of cx. And now I'm going to substitute the dy by dx in there. Really shouldn't have done that because I've just used up half that slide. Let's just get rid of that arrow. Good. So now we've got cy. Now, c to the power of e to the cx is equal to the log of y, so I'll make that change now, plus c times cy e to the cx times e to the cx. Right, and I'm doing this with one eye on where I'm going, so I can see that I've now got c squared y log y plus, whoops, c squared y, and this is log y. So log y, log y. So we're done. c squared y, log y, times 1, plus log y, as required. 